hey guys it's Maddie so today I wanted to do a video for Jamie OS 90 she asked me about dressing for um, her body which she is 5'5 five five and 95 pounds um, she wanted to know how to dress to look more curvy and to not she said to not look so emaciated so I am going to I made an entire list of things that she can do. Um, I, this is not, I hope this isn't too, like, I want it to be organized, but I'm kind of going to be going all over the place because I just have, like, a list of stuff you can do. First of all, I want to name some stores. BB, um, French Connection, uh, BCBG, um, and for, like, you know, the same items you can find there, you know, you can go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They sell the all those brands um, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, because the clothes that they have are, number one, they're sexy. I mean, they're, you know, and then they're definitely made to create curves on a woman's frame. And to make you look very, you know, va va voom and um, just very curvy and stuff like that. So... I'm going to go through and give my tips. Um, okay, so first of all, ruching. Um, ruching and ruffles. Because ruching has a gathered fabric and also so does ruffles, it creates volume on top. Or it uh, like, I assume you'd get a ruched dress or maybe a ruched top, which is kind of gathered fabric or ruffles. Because it adds volume to whatever part of the body that it's on, which I recommend you do not buy ruched pants. That's weird, and they look weird. Um, but if you have a ruched dress or a ruched top, that can definitely help add bulk to the top half of your body. Also, ruffles, especially on a swimsuit or a top, can look really cute and add some. Um, also, add some volume to your chest area. Um, a push-up bra. Now, I don't know, some people are against them, padded bras and stuff like that, but for a night night out, it's I think it's totally fine and appropriate. Um, I think that, you know, it can help add some volume there. And also, you know, I know sometimes when young women and the friends that I talk to, when they're thin, they kind of feel like they have a boyish body and they, uh, you know, they want to look sexy. They don't want to look young. So... Um, these are tips that can help you not look so young, uh, if that's a problem that you're having. Um, jackets. I know you said you didn't like a lot of layering, um, or you said without layering. So, I think having belts and jackets are great, because wearing a jacket, I mean, it's, you know, it's not excessive layering just to put a jacket over a shirt that you're wearing or something, can look really nice, because it has, um, a lot of, uh, it can create a curve, especially if you have a jacket that kind of goes in at the waist and kind of comes out at the bottom. It can help create more of an hourglass shape of your, the more hourglass shape. Um, some people to pay attention to, I would, are, um, there, well, there are a lot of celebrities who have your body type, um, or who are the same height and weight as you. Leet and Me Strong Gossip Girl. You guys are about the same uh, height and weight. And then, um, let's see, um, Eva Longoria, close to your height and weight. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to keep going. Tuck your shirt in. Now, mostly for women who have um, an apple shape should not tuck your shirt in because it can create... A gut or more gut than there is or it can just look like it's being pulled tight across your stomach so what I recommend is wearing a shirt that has kind of a um, you know maybe a button-down shirt or something like that and then tucking it in and then putting a belt over that because it can add some curve and then it breaks up the line of your body so that you are kind of being looked at in blocks basically um, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about breaking up your body because that's kind of what you're going to have to do if you don't want to layer a lot of your stuff. You're going to have to break up your body into segments. So wearing horizontal stripes, um, trying like shorts over tights with boots, something like that. Um, and even, excuse me, my ear is itching. Um, 
yeah, and doing things like that will really help, you know, break up the line of your body and then make your body look a little wider because the, you're breaking them up into lines, which look like this. Um, okay, chunky knits. Wearing a chunky knit sweater or a chunky knit dress would be great because it'll add bulk to your body, but it won't make you look chunky necessarily. It'll keep the line of your body smooth because the sweater will lay close to your body, but because of the way the fabric is made and how the cow thick the cables are, it will keep the, um, you know, it'll add weight to you almost. Um, you can also wear puffy jackets and puffy vests. I know nobody wants to look like a marshmallow on toothpicks, but that's a great look for a woman who is thin on top because it'll keep the top of your body kind of, um, the top of your body will be thick. And, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. I really hate it when your ear itches and you can't scratch the inside of your ear. Anyway, yeah, so, and you can get stuff like that at Old Navy or Target or anything like that. I don't know if you saw, like, the first outfit in Jennifer's body on Megan Fox. That was really cute. I thought so, anyway. Um... Also, wearing dresses with an hourglass shape or kind of an A-line shape um, will bring your bring the middle of your body in, which your your waist is already you know small. So, but it'll bring the bottom of your your bottom body out, the bottom of your body out, because you'll have that skirt that kind of lays like this, a big A. So it'll go like this in out. Um, also. You can do the slouchy tees with like a tight bottom, like wearing a tight skirt, like you know those tight kind of 80s style skirts, and then a really slouchy bottom. The only thing I want to say for you to stay away from is anything too slouchy, too oversized, like huge sunglasses, big necklaces, and big bags, just because you have a small frame, you don't want to look really small in comparison. And my last tip for you is about jeans. Now, I know it's really hard to find jeans for everybody, but, excuse me, to make your butt look curvy and stuff like that, um, I would really recommend either big, flat pockets. They don't have to be big, like, wide, but just pockets that kind of stick out of your jeans. Or making sure that the pockets on your jeans, if you have the pockets that lie flat, you want the pockets that are small. They should be probably two and a half inches to two inches, um, two inches long, because the smaller your pockets are, the larger your butt will look in comparison. So that's why I usually say for women who are a little bit bigger on the bottom, they should wear jeans with a larger pocket, so their butt can look, their butt will look slimmer and more um, perky. And also, making sure you wear long tops over your jeans will make your butt look perkier too, because it'll cut your butt in half. Once again, and it'll just show the underside of it. So it won't look long and flat. It'll look, you know, short and perky and cute. So that those are all my tips for you today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was informative for you. I'm going to list some stores in the sidebar. Um, and I hope you have a great day and a happy new year. So um, thanks, Jamie. All right. Bye. I hope you enjoy this.